Hello friends, in my previous video I showed you how to get all the PNG images from a particular folder specified view and its subfolders. Now in this video I will show you how to get all the JPG images from the SD card which means I will do the same task which I did in previous video but in background using an async task. I will, here I will use an async task to use the same code which I used in previous video and I will get all the images from my SD card into this list view. So here I have a progress bar which is displayed while the task is done in background and I have a list view one which is a custom list view for which custom view is unit.xml. This unit.xml contains an image view for which width is match parent and scale type is fit center. Here the scale type is fit center. This is progress bar 1. Now here in on create I have made this progress bar 1 gone and I have added these number variables n, r, string variables folder and folder name. Then I have added this string list, folder list, file list and a list map, image list. I have added these more blocks get file list in string file path then extra and search folders. So here in get file list I have used the same code which I used in previous video. Only thing is I changed the extension to .jpg from .png. Here I get all the files in the file path which is specified by the user in this block. In this block whatever the user writes in this block that is the file path. So I get all the files in that file path to this list file list then I set number variable n to 0 and for the complete length of that file list I check if it contains a file if the file at that position is a file or directory if it is a file and it ends with dot jpg then I add that thing to the list map image list using the key image and if it is a directory if get at n of listing file list is directory then I add it to another listing called folder list and after that I increase n by 1 and repeat this thing for the complete length of file list and once this task is done I search folders I already created folder list here so once the folder list is created I search folders in search folders I have used the same blocks and codes which I used in previous video here I say increase r by 1 then if r is less than length of list folder list here I will have to add 1 here if r is less than length of folder list plus 1 then I set this string folder to get at r minus 1 of listing folder list and I set this folder name to get last segment path of folder substring 0 to length of folder minus 1 this will get this will remove the last in the end usually the file or the folder name contains this symbol so I will just remove this symbol using this block substring 0 to length of folder minus 1 so here I will get in this way I will get the folder name and if folder name starts with sys or it starts with dot I will not search that folder so that's why I, here I have added search folders that means it will increase r by 1 and search for the next item and if it doesn't start with sys or dot then I use get file list in that folder which is r, get at r minus 1 of listing folder list so here I used get file list in that folder so that means it will repeat these codes or blocks for that particular folder again and again it will add search folders and in this way it will create a loop and search for all the folders 
in the folder which we specified and here I have this more block extra which is for an async task here I have closed this more block extra using this curly bracket and after that I have defined a new async task called all images task it is private class all images task you can name it anything else instead of all images task extends async task void 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 all these void have v in capital and these three void are used in do in background then on publish progress and on post execute so here this all this async task have these methods it has these methods on pre execute pro at override protected void on pre execute on pre execute i make the progress bar one visible initially in on create i had made it gone so in pre on pre execute i make it visible after that i have this i have closed this pre execute method and then i have protected void do in background method with void dot 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 path so this is a void method with v in capital and that's why it must return a void value and it has this variable void dot 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 means a list of voids with name path so here in doing background i set number variable r to 0 clear the image list clear the folder list and then i get files get file list in external storage directory and slash which means my sd card so this is equal to my sd card get external storage directory and this slash this will get all the image files all the dot jpg files in my sd card and add it to the map list which is image list this is the this image list is the map list to which it will add all the jpg images using image as key here you can see the dot jpg files are added to this image list using image as key so that will be done in background and after this is done i return this value null i return null because this is a void method with v capital then i close this do in background method after that i have at override protected void on progress update method with void v in capital dot 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 values uh, this is a method with void v in small letters so that's why it doesn't return any value after this i have at override protected void on post execute method with void v in small letters that's why it doesn't return any value and it contains this variable void param so this void is v capital this v capital and this v capital are represented here in async task this void for post execute this one for progress update and this one for do in background so on post execute i display the data from image list in list view one and refresh list view one and i make this progress bar one gone after that i close this on post execute method i do not close this async task because i have already put a closing curly bracket here and sketchware automatically will put this closing curly bracket at the end so that will close the async task now i use this async task in on create in on create i call for this async task here like this new all images task dot execute so this will call the async task and execute or get all the images to this image list then i display it in on bind custom view using this block image view one set image from file path get value at position key image of list map image list that's all in coding part now let's check
Okay, so here is the app. Initially, in on create, it calls for the async task, and async task on pre execute makes the progress bar one visible. After that, in background, it keeps adding images to the or the path of images to the image list, which is a map list. And once the task is completed, it will display it in list view. So we have to wait for the task to get completed. And if we have to, if you do not want to repeat this method all the time, you can save that image list, which is a list map, to uh, file shared preferences by converting it to a JSON string. So that will save time the next time user opens it. And every time you have to refresh it, you can add that async task, or you can call for the async task method on button click. Now my device has lots of folders, so that's why it is taking so much time. I didn't search the sys system folder because the app crashes when I search for the system folders. So that's why I, I have added that thing. So here it has come finished getting all the images from my SD card. And here you can see all these images which are there in my SD card. So that's all in this video. Thank you very much for watching this.